There were 173 new cases of COVID-19 in the community today. Of those cases, 154 were in Auckland, 15 in the Waikato, one in Northland, two in the Bay of Plenty and one in Lakes DHB. There was also a case in Canterbury but who was already in isolation. The majority of today's cases were linked to the outbreak, with just 81 yet to be linked. 61 cases from yesterday were infectious in the community, while a further 90 had no exposure events. There were 78 people in hospital, including 7 in ICU. 13 DHBs had now hit 90% first-dose coverage of the eligible population, while New Zealand as a whole was at 84% fully vaccinated. More than 2 million vaccine passes have now been issued and other ways to retrieve a pass have also been introduced, including over-the-counter at certain pharmacies. These are all fantastic achievements and the hard work that's gone into getting there deserves to be celebrated. More DHBs are closing in on the 90% mark, boosting New Zealand's overall first dose rate, which now sits at 92%. Bookings were now open for booster shots, which will begin from November 29, to those who were vaccinated six months ago or more and who were over the age of 18. Healthcare and border workers would be prioritised, while bookings were also now open for people wanting to get the AstraZeneca vaccine. Today's cases come as the government today confirmed a vaccine mandate would be extended to police and all Defence Force employees. Vaccines would be mandated for all police sworn members, recruits and authorised officers. Those included in the mandate will have to get their first dose by January 17 and second by March 1st. As we've seen with the health and education workforces, we've ended up at the 98-99% level with those and there do need to be ongoing conversations with uh, those police staff who are affected by this mandate. Uh, But I'm confident, as we've seen with those workforces, we'll get to similarly high levels with the police. Meanwhile, concerns are growing overseas about a potentially more transmissible COVID-19 variant emerging in southern Africa. Robertson said the new variant was a good example of the need to be cautious, but that there was no reason at this point to be alarmed about the variant and there was no evidence it was in New Zealand.